making the absolutely perfect starter pack for each calendars game. That's exactly what we're going to be doing here today in this video. I'm going to be basically taking every starter pack and replacing this calendars if I think they need to be fixed. Like if the starter pack is already perfect, then I will, I'm totally fine leaving it how it is. But if I think something needs to be changed that will make it better, I'm going to make that change. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I think and opinions are going to fluctuate. So feel free to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Starting off with the SSA starter pack, honestly, Spyro's Adventure I think did it perfectly and I don't think anything needs to be changed. Between Spyro, Gilgrunt, and Trigger Happy, I think this trio is amazing. I really like all these counters. Spyro isn't the best, but honestly he's so iconic and he was like the reason for the first game even existing. So I think like you've obviously got to keep him. Then Trigger Happy and Gilgrunt, they're awesome. Everyone loves them, so I'm completely fine with having them stay. Now, moving on to Giants, I think Trirex could stay. He's so good, and he's the most well-rounded Giant. He's just an icon at this point. Like, you can't take him out the starter pack. But Series 2 Cinder, I am going to take out the starter pack. I think it is absolutely stupid having reposes in the starter pack. Because, like, if you already bought the first series of that calendar, like, if you already bought the Series 1, then it's basically like you're only getting two scounters out the starter pack. So Series 2 Cinder is out of here, and we are putting in Pop Fizz, in my opinion, and most people's opinion, the best Giants core. And he's super unique, super fun, and you don't really see any scounter from Spires of Venture with a moveset quite like his. So I think he's perfect to put in the starter pack and show what Giants is all about. And now for the last one is Jetvac, and he's going to stay. I think as much as a lot of people like to hate on him, I don't think he's that bad. And he adds a nice ranged option to the starter pack that I think is much needed. And he's the first air element in a starter pack. So I think it works out well. I think um, Jetvac will be, I think he should stay. I think that'll uh, work the best. Now for the Swap Force starter pack, I think these swappers for this starter pack are absolutely perfect. Like Washbuckler and Blast Zone just give off Swap Force energy and feel so perfect for this starter pack. I think, I mean, Washbuckler, like the leader of the Swap Force, absolutely awesome. Blast Zone, you can just see him swapping with Washbuckler and creating these two awesome combos. Like these guys have got to stay. They're awesome. And I don't have any issues with them. Now Ninja Stealth Elf, I do have an issue with. I think she is just like we don't need a repose for her in the starter pack i'm fine with her getting repos it shouldn't be in the starter pack we should have absolutely got bumble blast this guy is an absolute beast everyone loves him and he's the same element as stealth elf so it wouldn't really change much to just put him in the starter pack then think about the trio you're getting between washbuckler blast zone and bumble blast that is awesome everyone likes all three of those scouters so i think this starter pack would be perfect if they put bumble blast in it now moving on to trap team the life and water traps are both fine because these are used in the first two level and they both have six villains each i mean you get some really nice ones with them um, like cross crow and chompy mage cuckoo clocker you get gulper chill bill like you get some really nice villains out of these traps but the actual skylanders i think snapshot should be replaced with crypt king now the reason for this is i think there should be a good close range option in the starter pack and snapshot is basically just a very basic long range skylander who's got one close range move and that's about it but crypt king is pretty much the opposite he is a primarily close range skylander and i think that's what people want in the starter pack me personally i prefer close range so i would much rather have crypt king in the starter pack but he's still very simple he's got the just basic sword just like the basic bow and arrow that we see with snapshot so i think he would work very well in the starter pack and it'd be the first time that we've seen undead since we're taking cinder out now the other one i think should be fist bump because he's just awesome this guy looks so much cooler than food fight like if you put them next to each other who would you rather play as fist bump or food fight like for 99 percent of people i feel like it's fist bump not only that but he's just more fun to play as like this guy's moveset it has a great combination of close range long range and mobility makes him super fun to play as and we need an earth scalander in a starter pack because i think it's important to have variety of elements as far as starter pack goes so i think fist bump and crypt king are an awesome combo two very nice Skylanders that everyone likes and I think they would work pretty well in the starter pack. Now for Superchargers, this is the only game that I'm really okay with having a repose in the starter pack just because they were done so differently in this game and they got an entirely mo an entirely new moveset. So to start with, Spitfire is amazing but almost he almost seems too good to be in the starter pack. I think he'd fit much better as a super sought after late wave Skylander. Now what I mean by this is he reminds me of someone like Doomstone who's just super awesome and everyone wants them but they're a late wave so they're kind of rare. And the thing about him is that because 
superchargers on the Wii and Wii U didn't come with him, he had to release separately. So he was released by himself in a standalone figure pack in Wave 5. I f he feels like a Wave 5 scout. Nerd. Like, he's just so awesome, so cool, so powerful. He seems like he should be a super late Wave Scoutlander. Now, with that being said, the Scoutlander that I think should replace him is Thrillipede. This is because Thrillipede has got to be the second coolest looking supercharger, only behind Spitfire. And I think his moveset's pretty good. I mean, he's got some close range, some long range, and I think he'd work well in the starter pack and definitely make people want to get superchargers. Now, the other one, I think, is Deep Dive Gilgrunt, just because he's an awesome Scoutlander. Like, I think Deep Dive Gilgrunt is super cool, and, like, Gilgrunt is such an iconic Scoutlander that having this sort of reimagined version of him that's just better in every way is a great way to market this game. It's going to make people buy it. It's going to make people enjoy Gilgrunt even more, seeing him with this new and improved moveset that everyone likes. Now, for Imaginators... I think Golden Queen should have been replaced with Chompy Mage. Now, the reason I say this is just because Chompy Mage has been around longer. He'll get fans from Giants and Trap Team to come play this game because he's been around in the series for that long. Also, just everyone knows Chompy's, like, they're the most classic Scoundrels enemies ever. Like, Golden Queen's fine, but I think Chompy Mage in the starter pack would be so much better. And I think everyone wants to play as Chompy Mage. Now, the other one, Kingpen, this is kind of crazy to think about. But I think he should have been replaced with Robo. Now, Robo is just perfect in my opinion. He has an amazing moveset and he has a very enticing design. I mean, he has a perfect moveset. Like, he has a laser eye, which is just awesome. He can shoot arrows, which is the primary attack you'd expect from him. And he can roll around in a ball that's super fast and does a ton of damage. And then he can shoot spikes at enemies. Like, his moveset's like actually just perfect and amazing. And this guy would look so cool in the starter pack. Like, think about it. Do you think you would be more enticed to buy the starter pack if it had Kingpin and Golden Queen or Chompy Mage and Robo? Like, rarity aside, those two scoundrels are just more attractive when they're put in a starter pack, and they're gonna you're gonna want to buy it more. Now for the creation crystal, honestly, I think fire is fine. So if black, I think that I think that'll work totally fine in the starter pack. But you can really go anyway. Since Kingpin isn't in it, maybe water would work better. I'm not really sure, but that is gonna be it for this video i think those are how all these starter packs should have worked all right thank you guys for watching this is very fun to make and let me know what you guys think about my opinions and what i would personally change and let me know if you guys would change anything in the comments down below because i'd be pretty interested to hear what you guys are thinking and um i will see you guys in the next video so for now bye guys